Roy Yockey for uh, Finland. Seems to be a popular opening weight here, 94 kilos. It's a big, it's a big opening weight, David, at this category. You know, this is a, it's a respectable weight. I'm hoping we're going to see some of these lifters go up and push beyond the 100 kg mark. Well, it's a bit wonky, but it is there. <laughs> well, so long as the bar stays at arm's length, who cares about wonkiness right now? It's, uh, she's, she's indicating there that the bar crashed down on top of her. Timing is everything in this sport, and we take a look. Drifted around her knees at the start. Just had to steady herself standing, but that will do. So, still a kilo with inside her personal best. It's been noticeable over the... So, if she's in that sort of form, she can have a go at Laura Donatoma, the defending champion. She is in Meanwhile, that kind of form. Let's uh, get back to Finland. Annie uh, Voyoki, 96 kilos, second attempt. There's the quite a few lifters losing lives here, Michaela. There are. The one thing that's really lacking in this championships, and it's the same for everybody, so there's no excuse, is the lack of a crowd, the lack of an audience to really get that adrenaline going. These lifters have to find it from within, and at the moment we're seeing a lot of lifters lacking in that explosion, explosiveness when the bar reaches mid-thigh. So, Annie needs to uh, make amends. Oh, I don't know. Right arm. Let's see what the referees think. No. So press out in the Nivuyoki for uh, Finland. Only 94 kilos to bring forward. Like Sabine Kustara. Same kilos achieved in the first half, but can she make amends in this discipline? Now stands up. A little bit of effort to get that clean. David, these weights don't, they don't go up on their own. You've got to put the effort in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean, but uh, just a little bit more energy expended. If you see the replay, she looks like she stood up on her right leg. That tells me she's maybe had a previous injury or has some kind of imbalance and is protecting the left side somewhat. She definitely stood up more dominant on the right leg. Worked hard for the clean. The jerk was nice and solid overhead. Let's have a look at the position. See where the hips are in relation to the bar. Ooh, slightly back. Glutes are not even activated. Nine kilos. She had a personal best of 130 kilos. But she's not in that form today. Well, what does that tell you? Come on. Boyoki of Finland. 118, right on her PB. And this is her second attempt, so... Stands. Uh, I would fail that. But it's going to get past. <laughs> well, she's done the right thing. I think if they're going to enforce, she, she did get one red light. Fair play to that referee. I give them credit for that. I didn't think anyone was going to pull her up. This rule never gets uh, enforced. If they're going to have the rule, they must. Watch now. Bar is oscillating. Whipping. Look at the bar whipping. 
on the shoulders the bar must be stationary unless it's natural oscillation this is not natural oscillation you can't see we need to see the set now luck was on her side at the second attempt Voyoki's put the bar up to 120 so this is a go at a new personal best and she'll do the same again as well. So for the viewers that missed the oscillation last time, take a look, assuming she cleans it. Watch the bar whipping on her shoulders. That's deliberate oscillation. I would definitely fail that. Yeah, and a press out to boot. So uh, she's bought to book here. Needs to be very careful, and I just don't understand why lifters practice this technique. It's not allowed. Yes, she's probably seen other lifters at world level getting away with it and thought, right, I'm going to use that as well. And, and, and until this rule is policed properly, lifters are going to deliberately abuse it. Look at the bar whipping, then she goes for it. What she's doing there is using the whip to her advantage. You're not allowed it.